Hi, in today's Autodesk Revit Architecture Elementary course lecture, we are specifically at Unit 4, Lecture 3. We are going to focus on the adaptive component as an important part of uh, using uh, uh, Revit conceptual work. And uh, in today's lecture, I will focus on the concept or general concept of the adaptive component, how the conceptual massing can be sent or be upgraded actually with the adaptive component and then sent to the project environment and then I will show you the example that I pre-made or created a couple of months ago and just uh, I don't want to repeat that that why uh, <clears throat> this can be considered like uh, more like a guidance uh, lecture because you can see those uh, five example five videos that I pre-prepared I right, posted on YouTube uh, and you can have a look of the procedure to do all of those. So I just added <clears throat> here just uh, one main slide, which is the, the adaptive component definition or concept. It's, it's basically, that's the definition based on my point of view. It's, it's, a, it's a parametric flexible cladding techniques uh, created by the use of a very uh, specialized Revit family, which is called curtain panel pattern base that allows you to apply a complicated 3D geometries or entities to any types of Revit conceptual pattern. The adaptive component will apply to each small part or division of the geometry and change its size accordingly. And the powerful thing that they can actually apply to any curved geometry, not only to a flat one, and it's also uh, each part of those uh, cladding or adaptive component uh, is actually differs from the one before. So that's how if we compare it to the, to the curtain wall system, the curtain wall system always apply uh, for a flat and, uh, and it's also each part of the division is equal to each other by the definition of course. If we change that later on that's a different topic. But as an auto-generative, it's uh, equal by division and or equal by distance, if you remember that lecture that we did before. But here, uh, it follows the geometry. So if that's my sphere, see that the sphere is having a, a bigger uh, divisions at the center. And when you go slightly to the poles, they are getting smaller. So there is no plus its curve. So that kind of complicated geometries or any other more complicated geometries can be clad by an adaptive component which here you can see it's made of frame and then a glass and then you put that with the division and you get this kind of result in the, in the conceptual massing. So it's a powerful tool that later on we're going to send this to, uh, to project environment and put the levels and slice each part of that and make Revit give us an automated plans and sections. <clears throat> Sorry, and uh, that's the that's the things uh, that I wanted to show you again. That that's the division. That's the concept matching, conceptual matching, and you can add a division, and then you add pattern inside it. And these patterns you go outside and you define the adaptive component family, upload it to this guy, and you're gonna get this you know Shelly uh Shelly tower so adaptive component can be much more complicated so if you see in this slide it is in one plane just a frame and glass but here it have a frame and glass and another shading device this is a parametric shading device that can change by uh the points of a couple of uh the heights of the couple of points and as you can see it's applied here and it's uh it's uh, in not only in the plane of the geometry but rather it's attached to another extra planes to it, uh, which is really nice. And then, you know, like this geometry as a conceptual mass, it can be sent to the project environment. And inside the project environment, you know that we can get all type of plans, sections, and elevation and areas and all that. So I'm gonna show you, uh, that's the point of this lecture, it's just to introduce you to the concept of uh, the adaptive component. And then we're gonna see, I'm gonna show you the, the procedure to be created and then to send it uh, to the vision and pattern and to the creation of the conceptual massing and then uh, applying it and then send that entire project into a project environment and slice it and get the plans and sections whatever out of that and i've done that i'm not going to repeat that here in this video 
but I'm gonna show you to the previous video that I've done it's, it's this guy which is the making of Cyan Tower uh, it's a really nice tower in Dubai UAE and uh, and very basic modeling uh, just a very basic simple uh, rectangle and it's been extruded and twisted and then I added this normal uh, rectangular adaptive component for it and I highly I highly advise you to finish this lecture to see that lecture or previous video and this is a little bit more complicated and it's been divided into four parts the first part to model the mass and the second one to model uh, to make the division and, and then the adaptive component applying and then sending all that to the uh, to the to the project environment and again adding a landscape a basic landscape based on AutoCAD file so for me for this lecture I'm focusing on those three which is how you create the conceptual mass and make the division and pattern and then applying it to it and then sending it to the project environment for main uh, slicing I think this one will finish the job I'm not really quite sure about the the full content of the last one but I think it's been end up by making the landscape have a look at the four of them anyway uh, so uh, really uh, I highly encourage you to see those steps and, and shown in this uh, and this is slides based on my uh, previous work uh, posted a couple of uh, months ago uh, anyway uh, thank you very much and uh, have a lovely day